Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. The Atlanta Braves taking on the Baltimore Orioles. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. One down. Here's Jordan Alvarez, ninth in the American Alvarez. League in batting average. Alvarez. Vargas, the base runner at first with one out. Sneaks through, base hit. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. Everything came together for him. Top of the second, now in for the Braves, King Tejada. Pretty amazing athlete this guy is. Power and speed, quite a threat. I mean, you're talking about someone that could steal your bag and go deep. Bo Jackson, anyone? Reigns back to work. In the air out to center. Kowser under it. He's got it. And there's one down. Woo. He was all over that first pick. Ah, so two ready. down. The Here's a speed threat. Eight. King Tejada. Flied out to yeah. center in his first Just at bat. Eight, uh... Lace to right center, base hit. Acuna around third. One run is in. Ozzy flying around third. He's also in to score, and they lead by four. Not in time. He's safe. The first Man, that keeps his hitting streak going. He's making this look way easier than it is, Boog. Setting the record is hard at all, but to keep upping it every day like he is, I don't really know what to say anymore. At this point, it honestly feels like it's never going to end. Absolutely remarkable. And now it's Bobby Bradley. He's over one. Here we go. In there. And so now one and two. Well, a really rough inning out there on the mound. And uh, this is one of those where you learn a lot about a guy's toughness and his ability to turn the page and keep pressing forward. Hot shot to third. Then they're happy to just get off the field after that frame. So they move out in front after a four run outburst. We move on to the bottom of inning number three. It's the Braves four and the Orioles nothing. Jackson Holiday, the, the next to hit for the Orioles. He popped out his first Jackson. time. Three and two Holiday. now. Out to short. And there are two outs. Now batting the designated hitter, Miguel Vargas. King Tejada next up for the Braves. One for two. This kid is so special. He's a shortstop by trade and big time power. Base hit, center field. Waste no time the there. Pitch was on the outside, didn't go the Bobby other way with it, but still Bradley. a nice job of using the big part of the field to find a hole. No way he hits it that well if he hooks around the baseball there. So a new arm out of the bullpen for the Orioles, Keegan Aiken. Well, he's a big time strikeout guy out there this season. There goes the runner. Pitch is low. And that's a stolen base, not even close. Well, I'm sure that still will raise a couple of eyebrows because of this big lead, but I think it's more respect for their opponent, knowing that they've got to continue to add on if they're going to win this game. Don't take it as an offense. Take it as a sign of respect. Bradley waits. And now it's filled up. Action in the pen down there. Milt Harris getting ready to go. And a pitch. Runner on the go again. Got him swinging. Throw to third, and he's in there easily. The designated hitter, Yorbit Viva. Yorbit Vivas, the next to hit. 
the one one yeah, you can do it. No two way. outs and one in scoring position next pitch is outside Rondell Davis next to bat for the Braves They wait for a good one and drive, and I'll pick one out. At the belt and fires. Out towards right center field, and that'll fall for a base hit. In comes the runner from third. It's 5 nothing. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. Right. You know what they say, he couldn't have thrown it out there any better than that, and certainly the case that time. Just flared it back behind the second baseman and dropped it in there. Well, we go bottom six Leading and into the box for Baltimore. Orioles. Ryan Mountcastle. Ryan Mountcastle. Bounce to the left side. Tosses across the first. Lead off man retired in the King Tejada now at the plate. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Worm burner into the outfield for a knock. Well, Singy, he is locked in there. Well, he's really slowed the game down, and it's like he's moving in full speed, and everybody is a step or two behind. The way that he squared up that baseball tells me that he is seeing it like a beach ball. And here is Bobby Bradley. And it is two and one. Now, one time. Left hand batter waits. That's inside. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Andre Palante getting loose out there. Chavez, a left hander, also throwing. Tejada, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. Here we go. Runner. Runner on the go. And that's ball four. Nope. Ball four. Well, interesting. He went with the off speed and walked the hitter. Man, you got to challenge the guy with the fastball. And next is the designated hitter, Yorbit Vivas. One for three. Right handed reliever, and that'll load the bases. That's a tough one to swallow right there if you're on the mound. You're ahead in the count 0 2, and you just couldn't find a way to put him away. It's going to be frustrating if that one comes back to bite him. And the righty deals. And that is cut on and missed. Two and two now. I think he was sitting off speed there. Two two now. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And there's two down. Typically, that high fastball, if it's close to the top of the strike zone, a hitter, if he's prepared for it, can get to it. But that one just had that little jump at the end, which indicates there's a good spin rate on it, and it didn't decrease in velocity as that hitter's internal clock would expect it to, and that's why you see the swing and miss. Next to hit, Jacob Melt. Strike two. One ball, two strikes. Two outs and a swing and a miss, and that's that. I think the key is arm action on the changeup. When you can sell it like a fastball, you drop the velocity, you get the swing and miss, and you walk off the field. Hey, come on, Down the third baseman, Jordan Westberg. The batter. The third baseman, Jordan Westberg. Right-hander kicks, deals. Out to short. Throw over to Bradley, and that is the inning. So they do get four runs across, but they end up leaving the bases loaded. Eighth inning coming up. It's the Braves five and the O's four.
back now at Oriole Park. Leading and off. now, Luis Torrens. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller, good at framing, but it's that big arm that really stands out. Tejada, jump throw. Leadoff man is out here in the eighth. Couple of pitches and a quick out. That's shortstop. Jackson. Holiday. Here's the shortstop at the play. King Tejada outfield deep here trying to prevent anything over their heads. Oh, look out here. He's going to come up ready to swing in this situation. Your pitch. Right here. Let's you know this in. guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. Foul ball. Palante, a six-foot righty, 30 years old now, and he was drafted in the fourth round back in 2019. Hit hard on the ground to short. Throw to first You're is out. in time. One up, one down. After four wins in a row, you start to think a little bit that you're on a roll, and that's the momentum that just takes on a life of its own. Guys start hitting up and down the lineup. Never know who's going to come up with the big hit, who's going to come out of the bullpen and get the big outs, but it's a good feeling, and you want to extend it. Close one here today, and your final 5-4. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding.